first real snowfall of the year. This is the most snow we've had. Where's the bow? And repeat. Good morning, good morning, guys. Good morning, guys. Hello, hello, and welcome to another weekly vlog. This week, we thought we'd get into the festive spirit. We like to start early in November. Oh my gosh, I think we should at least be waiting till December, but what that can way, I say? We can milk it for a month, a month there of Christmas. So, red lipstick, red turtleneck. I've got a flannel, flannel. that's kind of Christmassy, but my jacket and yeah. hat, no. So, I thought we would start this morning by taking you to Tim Hortons, which is like a classic Canadian coffee chain. Yeah. And they've already announced their Christmas menu. <sighs> Yeah, you've done your research. I you're sure you're have. telling me beforehand mm -hmm. what we're gonna have. Let's go get our sugar fix. Let's go. Let's So guys, we had to try two Timmies, but we finally found one that has all the festive menu all the festive menu <laughs> so the first one we went to was a mini stop it's in a gas station so it was much smaller they only had a few of the items now we've come to an actual location so first of all i wanted to show you the hot chocolate this one is sam's we got a white hot chocolate it has whipped cream and then it has crushed candy canes like candy cane powder on top uh -huh. mine is the regular chocolate yeah so I will try those shortly and then Sam, ooh, <laughs> it's so hard eating in a car in a confined space. Sam got the filled gingerbread muffin. Here you have it. It looks pretty good. And I ordered something pretty cute. So this is Check my polar bear donut. <laughs> oh. All the sugar in the world. How adorable is this? It is pretty cute. Yeah, he looks very cute in dapper. his red bow tie. He's very dapper. And then the other two items that are also part of the Christmas collection are the eclair, mm -hmm. and they have a sugar cookie with like some little sprinkles. I think it's like light blue sprinkles, maybe like snow or something. So yeah, we're gonna be trying this, and I'm super pumped. All uh, right. Ready for this? Dun -dun -dun. So ready for this. Look at all the sugar out here. I know. White hot chocolate with festive decorations on top. Yeah. Oh, you smell the candy cane so I know. much. Wow. I know. Wow. It tastes very, very Christmassy. It tastes a lot like candy cane. It feels like a sweeter hot chocolate than even normal. Mm, I bet. There's an enormous amount of sugar in here. But it does taste very good. That just reminds me of when I was young, I, I ate so many candy canes. I would even steal them off the Christmas tree. <laughs> <laughs> Confession time. All right. Now we also have the gingerbread muffin. Gingerbread muffin time. Gingerbread muffin time. Gingerbread muffin time. I'm going to see if I can break it in break half. Break it in half. Let's see what's inside. Oh, yeah. Ooh. See that? That's so good. That is a cake. That's not muffin. <laughs> It's like really cake. good. Oh, as my little arm shakes from the weight of the camera. Sorry. Oh. All righty, let me reposition. We didn't really think through this whole filming in the car. We're kind of tall people. <laughs> First of all, let me point out the festive cup. Vive le twirl Tim! That, twirl that around. It's the most wonderful Tim's of the year. <laughs> the, most sugar, the most sugar filled Tim's of the year. I would say. Mm, that's very Christmassy. Oh yeah. They put crushed candy cane, but it's melted with the heat of the hot chocolate. Yeah. So that's really tasty. Cute donut with the bow tie. Cute donut, polar bear. So I'm gonna bite into him. Sorry, little poly bear. That oh. is so much sugar. Like it is filled with cream in there. Very cute, very tasty, very happy. We decided to try the Christmas menu here. I'm mm -hmm. enjoying it. So yeah, bon appetit, everyone. Follow la Togo, we're at the park, baby. 
most wonderful time of the year, Togo. Look at this. Lo vas a buscar. Estás listo. Ahí va, eh. Mira que vas a salir en video. Tenés que hacerte uno espectacular, eh. Good boy, Togo. Good boy. Es un muchacho. Ahí va. Oh, catch Togi! Oh, where's the ball? Where did it go? Where did it go? It's over there. Look, you see it? Good boy! Are you happy with all the snow, Togi? Is this your element? Yeah. Yes, it is. First real snowfall of the year. This is the most snow we've had. It started snowing at like maybe 10 in the morning. It hasn't stopped. Nine in the morning. Nine, yeah. It's gonna snow all night. And we're getting roughly 14 centimeters. And Togo oh. is loving it. Yeah, first snow of the year. They say it's good luck to get hit by it. So we went out and uh, see what gives. So it looks like Christmas has arrived a little bit early. In the form of a box. Oh, we had a special delivery all the way from Japan from wow. this week's video sponsor, which is Boksu. So yeah, we're pretty excited because this week we're getting a little taste of Japan. And if you've been following the channel, it's been over two years now since our big trip. Where does the time go? I like, know, it's what? flown by. What? But I remember before we left Japan, after spending a couple of months there, we stocked up on lots of Japanese snacks, including lots of unique flavored Kit Kat bars. We got mochi, we got pokey sticks. And it didn't last very long. No. <laughs> <laughs> like we, we ate most of it and then we gave some of it away. Yeah, as <laughs> that's presents. basically how it worked. Yes, yeah, so we're pretty excited to be trying mm. Japanese snacks once more. So just to explain to you what Boksu is, they are a monthly snack box subscription service that delivers premium Japanese snacks and tea pairings. And they partner with family owned businesses, some of which have been perfecting their craft for more than a hundred years. Wow, that's incredible. Oh. Yeah. So how it works is that first time boksu customers like us receive a seasons of japan box and then repeat customers get a themed box every month based on the time of year so that could be things like hanami blossom autumn harvest moon festival and more are you ready to open our box oh yeah okay i'm ready Let's to do scarf it. down some food i'm hungry dun, 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 dun. wow Ooh. seasons of japan we get Comes a little a nice booklet. little booklet yeah. so we have descriptions for all of our snacks mm -hmm. it tells you the flavor whether it has any allergens if it's vegetarian cool so that's gonna make things easier all right i say we just dig on in let's dig on in i'm feeling snacky so first up we're having meijin mochi puffs so these are meant to be sweet and there's some soy in them mm. Mm. wow it melts disintegrates in your it mouth. It melts like sugar softly. Oh, oh wow. Hokkaido red bean donuts. We didn't make it to Hokkaido, but I'm very excited to try their donuts. Look at yeah. that. Mm. Tastes like a syrupy pancake kind of wow. on the outside. This is better than a Canadian Timbit, guys. Like, this is pretty <laughs> spectacular. Whoa. So we are going to try the Aomori apple caramel yakoi sable. I love sugar cookies. Mm. It smells like apple pie. Soft. Chewy and soft. Buku buku Thai chocolate. It's like a wafer. Chocolate as opposed to red bean. It's chocolate. It's like, it looks like a an arrow chocolate bar in the middle. Mm. I like the bubbles of the chocolate just like melting on your tongue. Wow. Everything has been a hit. Oh, so far, yeah. Um, matcha chocolate Ooh. stick cake. 
I like that. The matcha is very mild. And I really like the little chocolate chips in there. Oh, yeah. Oh, these are the edamame senbei. Edamame senbei. So the crackers. You can see the edamame. That's one of my favorites so far. I love how salty it is. Very yeah. crunchy. I like that it's a mix of sweet and savory. Exactly. Go oh my gosh, we gotta try these. Black sesame taiko. Black sesame taiko. Wow, so these come from the hometown of Kumamon. They have roasted almonds and sesame seeds with a sugary syrup. This would go so nice with the tea. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think out of all the snacks we've had, a cup of tea would just I'll be, quite be nice. a perfect combination with this. Mm, let's do this. Mochi. We actually get two little packages. I'm gonna eat all of them. Super exciting. I'm eating all <laughs> of them. Let's save one for later. My mm, God. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> Dango mochi. Variety of so there's sticky rice dumplings. What about my pack? <laughs> <laughs> let's start with one. Mmm, that's a nice dusting of mm -hmm. sugar. They're coated in granulated sugar, so they're extra oh, wow. sweet than the other mochi I've had. You gonna have another one? Go ahead. If you insist. <laughs> So basically there were a lot of snacks and we'd probably be here another hour if we showed you all of them. But a few more highlights included pickled plum stick potatoes, chocolate infused strawberries, and citrusy seaweed crackers. You can see all of the snacks included in the Seasons of Japan box over on the Boksu website. With the holiday season coming up, we were pretty excited to share this box since it makes for a pretty unique gift. Especially if you have a Japan enthusiast in your life. So enjoy! So there you have it guys. If you'd like to try some authentic Japanese snacks, we're gonna leave our code in the description below down here so you can check them out and they will ship the snacks right to your doorstep. So thank you very much, Boksu. We really enjoyed this. We did. Those were some kind of good. Forget supper. All right, we'll see you guys later. Fa la 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 Tis the season, Tis the season to, to be shoveling la da 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 This is our first dump of snow and Togo's not very happy with us outside. Togo can't recognize, recognize us with our winter gear. Ow! Okay, don't do Sorry. that, he'll just howl more. He's gonna howl back. For our first taste of winter, we got a spectacular dump of snow. I'm not even sure how much came down, but enough to just completely cover the cars, the driveways, everywhere. Like, just look out. It's just I think it's going to be 14 centimeters by the time this is over. Wowzers. So we're kind of getting on top of the cars and the driveway because if you wait too long, then it's a real mess, isn't it? Yeah, and it's going to snow overnight, so it is. So we're getting this is, started. This is just phase one. Yes. And when it comes to winter in Canada, this is an ongoing issue. A lot of young teenagers actually make a little bit of extra money as they go around and, and shovel people's driveways who don't want to do it themselves but we figured we'd do it first time to be putting on my uh my big thick wool winter jacket i've got a warm hat it is minus right now and um yeah we've you actually did most of the shoveling i was out getting groceries so yeah we're just finishing off what you had already started let's do the cars let's do it come check that out i mean that that already looks like 14 centimeters and if it's supposed to go overnight yeah. that no, looks like 20 to be honest that's a lot of snow there's no there's no stopping right now it's just it's snowing like crazy it's actually faster for me just to paw it with my hand paw it like a bear yeah there's a lot of snow wow I don't think you've ever looked more Canadian, yeah, except, well, maybe when you wore red plaid head to toe when we went to the cottage. That is true. So I'm going to show you guys a little bit of the shoveling process too. Okay. So, of course, I have a lot of the car left, but this is a, an excellent shovel. Lightweight, pick up a lot of snow. And up on the wall. And repeat. Yeah, and it's and heavy. It's heavy repeat. snow because it's very it's wet, wet snow. It's very yeah, wet it's snow. great for packing for making snowmen. It's, it'd be awesome for a snowball fighter for her to make a yeah. To make a and look, it's already starting to to pile up again slowly, even yeah. though we've just finished that area. Yeah, like this is literally just phase one. We may do it one more time before it gets dark, and likely get in the morning too. Great exercise and a perfect excuse to have an afternoon coffee or hot chocolate afterwards. Ooh, with marshmallow? Ooh, we'll show what we have after if we get inside. <laughs> and then we're also bringing out all the Christmas decorations in the home. We're gonna decorate yeah. as a family. This is Togo, my brother. He's just been playing in the snow. Did you have fun, buddy? Was it fun? Are you going to give kisses? Kisses for sister? Kisses? No curses, but maybe snuggles later. So we are going to prepare some hot chocolate. I'm doing coffee crisp because this is the only flavor that's left over, but the best one is after eight. 
because then you get minty hot chocolate. And also there's a trick to this guys, you can't just add water, you have to use a bit of cream. That's how you get it all frothy and extra rich. I don't drink this year round, by the way. This is just a festive holiday thing. No, okay. You drink it more than you realize. <laughs> don't judge so harshly. A little bit of cream. And then the trick is you have to mix the powder thoroughly into the cream, okay? Until you get like a paste almost. And you don't want to add too much water. I'm just using half a cup. Well, half a mug, really. Yeah, otherwise you, you water then, down yeah, the Yeah, then it gets watered down. It's better to yeah. have a smaller quantity, but it's super rich. Rich, rich. rich and frothy, right? Yes. That's All that's word. missing are the marshmallows. I wonder if we have any somewhere. Are there we any secret we stashes? We do not you know, have secret I do have I do have after eight downstairs, but they're supposed to be for my parents. So yeah, I'm not gonna I'm I'm not I'm not gonna be the one to get them. <laughs> Those chocolates are not gonna make it to New Brunswick, let me tell you. I you I no. Well they were on sale, they're four ninety nine, they're normally okay. six ninety nine. Well, let's go enjoy this with some Christmas lights. Mm -hmm. So this is a work in progress. I have not participated in the decorating thus far. I'll start with the ornaments very soon. But basically, my youngest sister Ariel and my mom got the tree up, the, what are these beads? What's this? Garland? Ribbon. Ribbon. <laughs> I don't have the terminology. <laughs> yeah, and what's the next step? Ornaments? All the ornaments. Samuel, are you going to participate? in the decorating of I, the tree. I, I actually might, yeah. Oh, I think okay. I might. All right, he you might. Grab a bag and throw it on the <laughs> You just threw it on, you don't even hang yeah, it. Yeah, I'll, like, to I'll it toss some like baseballs. How's wherever that? it lands. So. <laughs> if it sticks, it sticks, right? <laughs> How's the hot chocolate though? I haven't tried it yet, good question. It's good. It tastes like you melted a, a coffee crisp chocolate bar. Oh wow. Into your Yum. chocolates, it's very good. But yeah, we're gonna work on this and I think we'll probably show it to you in the daytime so you can really appreciate it because it's quite dark. Well, hello, Mr. Falala. Hey guys, Falala la 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 la. Look at that, we're decorating the Christmas tree and this is something I haven't done in quite a while. Mm -hmm. Could it be over a decade? Oh my. No, I probably did it at Gary and Joe's house actually. <laughs> But um, you might be thinking I'm having some wine here. It's actually chilled mate. Mm, so, green tea. Yeah. We'll have to start making some mulled wine soon. We will. Get all festive. Yes, an eggnog with some Baileys maybe. Maybe some well. hottie toddies. Hottie toddies. Yeah, there's, there's a number of different drinks we can have, huh? Festive drinks. But for the time being, we are going to decorate the tree. All of the ornaments are actually just right here. Looks like your, your mom has nicely arranged them by categories. And so it's just going to be a matter of taking yeah. them out. My mom has quite the ornament collection. We're not decorating in our apartment downstairs. So no. we're decorating up here. Yeah, up upstairs where everyone has common access. So, yeah. but yeah, it's going to be fun. And uh, it's going to take a while, I imagine. <laughs> On the first day of Christmas, my true love gave to me a partridge in a pear tree. On the second day of Christmas, my true love gave to me two turtle doves and a partridge in a pear tree. We're gonna try and take a photo of Togo looking super cute with his little reindeer antlers, so give us a minute. Who's a handsome oh, reindeer? A reindeer. Oh, I'm a reindeer. I'm a reindeer. Oh, oh my goodness. Look at that. Look at that. Face. Look at that. Jiggle, jingle, 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 jingle. dog, jingle dog. Da, 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 da. <laughs> <laughs> Togo, have you ever looked so handsome? He's like, what's on my head, guys? <laughs> Something different. Okay, so Thank you. Cute. Thank you. Should we take oh. a cover photo? Maybe in front of the tree. Once we're done decorating the Christmas yeah, tree, we'll, we'll have a photo session mm. with Togo. What mm. do you think? Okay. Will you put up with it, Toby? Christmas, my true love gave to me. Lemon pipers piping, ten lords are leaping, nine ladies waiting, eight maids are milking, seven swans are swimming, six geese are laying, five. And a partridge in a pear tree. On the twelfth day of 
Christmas my true love gave to me. Twelve drummers drumming, eleven pipers piping, ten lords are leaping, nine ladies waiting, eight maids are milking, seven swans are swimming, six geese are laying, five golden rings, four golden birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree, and a partridge in a pear tree. Alright guys, so I am here with my dad, Daniel, at home, and today we're going to be getting into the festive spirit by building one of these. Yeah, gingerbread house. A gingerbread house, yes. Have you ever built one before? No, but I, I work in construction, so I'm going to be the coach on how to put the bricks uh, and use the... The cement. The cement, the, cement. The, the mortar. The icing. Yeah. So yeah, I've only built one of these before, a long time ago. I remember it being kind of tricky, getting the walls to stand up. Yeah, um, they, it, when, when it is fresh, there is a tendency for the whole thing to collapse. collapse. <laughs> so you, you need to, to be careful with this thing. Yeah, so we're gonna try our hand at these. I also noticed in the supermarket, now they don't just sell the gingerbread house, there's a gingerbread train, and they mm -hmm. also have the gingerbread men that you can decorate with icing. But yeah, today we're trying the classic gingerbread house. This is very typical in North America for the holidays. You know, you build it, leave it as a decoration for the month, and once the holidays are over, you can eat it. If you, if you want to take a trip to the dentist, after, yeah, you yeah. eat it. That's yeah. the thing, because it's been sitting out for a month, so the cookie gets even harder than what it already is. So maybe for yeah. dunking and like tea or coffee. It's, it's mostly like a type of a decoration and yeah. the, the spirit of the holiday. Let's, Let's see what happens. It. So Let's we've go. taken out all the ingredients, so you guys can have a look here. Um, the kit comes with a tray so that it's a bit easier to hold up the walls. So no scissors. Mm -hmm. this will be very handy. My dad's going to get some scissors for us. And here we have the walls and the roof of the ginger house and also some decoration for the garden. Some trees, uh, a snowman. This is our glue here. This is the icing that's going to hold our structure together. And of course, a whole bunch of different candies, peppermints, gummies, granulated sugar, and then there's green fondant. This, I don't know what it is. Maybe like chocolate chips, colored chips? I was just looking at the back of the, let me see. Oh, the ingredients? Back of the box. My dad's horrified. <laughs> the ingredients. Look at the list of ingredients. I'm not gonna read them because it's gonna take 25 minutes, but I figure that if you eat this one, then you turn off the light and you glow in the dark. Hey, you, wanna have, you wanna have a piece? Maybe he wants to smell the gingerbread. It smells like molasses. Oh. These are the walls. No, this is the front. This is the back. That's the rear. The walls are low. Yeah. Because the ceiling is... Um, the ceiling goes like that. Oh my goodness, this is gonna be hard. I think this is upside down. I think, yeah. Yeah, there we go. I think it's easier to to put bricks uh, one on top of each other. Hopefully it's fast drying. I, maybe it has so many chemicals, maybe one's a quick activating agent. Yeah. Ariel, no seas cabezón, es familia. We're just about to start building the gingerbread with dad. Want to help? You can Come help. Come join us. I think we're going to need more hands. We're already wondering how we're going to hold it up. This is the tricky part, waiting for the icing to dry and our roof not to collapse. At home, when we roof a house, it's a custom to make a barbecue. So, today we should make a barbecue. We are roofing here. Huh? Look at the age I start playing with doll houses. Gingerbread man. Even, even the dog wants to get in on this. Like, look at his face. ¿Qué pasa todo? Christmas trees ready, ornaments. Wait, wait, wait! Oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> Estaba abierto eso. ¿Quién lo abrió? Huh? Not me, just the thing you get. Who opened it? I, I
That's a pretty good job. So guys, this right here is our work of art. It took three people to make this happen. My dad, my sister, and myself. Voila, there you have our Christmassy gingerbread house. It's not quite as easy as it looks. And we probably should have decorated the walls and the ceiling before we glued everything together because then the candies and gummies just kept sliding off. But there we have it, looking festive, new decorations for the house, and yeah. Let me know if you guys make gingerbread houses or if you've ever tried wherever you're celebrating the holidays. So yeah, now I'm just gonna wait for Sam to come upstairs and we're gonna do a little reveal and get his opinion. Sam still hasn't seen the gingerbread house. You guys have been busy up here. Come on in. Oh, wow. Da, da, da. That's da, da. quite impressive. Wow. I almost feel like taking a bite out of it. Mm. I know that's not allowed. Inspect the details. Look closely. How's the icing, the piping? How are the candies holding up? Mm, it looks pretty symmetrical. <laughs> <laughs> so how long did that take to finish? Um, I think it was like an hour long activity, to be honest. And it was the three of you and your dad and Ariel? Yeah, it required three people. Wow, that's quite the effort. But mm -hmm. hey, we'll have that for the whole... Uh, holiday season, right? Yep, it's gonna be sitting out on the table for a month. Until it dries out. Yes, <laughs> and then maybe we'll dunk it in some tea or coffee. There you go. Look, our neighbors decorated. We have zero lights, but good job neighbors. Your house is looking good. You even have candy canes. Yeah. All right, guys, good evening. We are on a little excursion with my sister, Ariel, the my shopper. husband. Hello. <laughs> Sam, the trio, and today we're gonna go look at some Christmas lights. Little problem, <laughs> it is raining, it is foggy, we were not expecting this kind of weather, but you know what, this is just the reality of winter. Hey, it's winter in Canada. This is what it's like, <laughs> exactly. This is winter For reals. in Canada. For reals. So we are going to take you to the downtown area of the city we live in and we're just going to drive around a really pretty park. Hopefully they have some nice lights and decorations and we're just going to get in the festive spirit. And if the weather improves later on in the week, maybe we'll actually be able to go for a walk and see the lights up close and personal. For tonight, we're staying in the car. Look and roll. Here in the back seat, guys, and this is Canadian winter to the max. It's like you get a nice dump of snow and you're like, oh, this is wonderful. Let's go make a snowman. And then <laughs> two or three days later, you get rain, which basically washes out all of the snow. And then typically what happens is the temperatures freeze and then you get like basically like a skating rink. So yeah, this is the, you know, the idyllic winter that sometimes you see in photos you know a cabin out in the woods snow this is the real deal the rain the freezing and the snow cycles is it reminiscent of vancouver island uh, a little bit but here it's worse oh. <laughs> truth be told